Wind is something that's simply impossible to control, and there may be a life lesson in that. If you're up against something that you can't stop, you can either seek shelter or make the most of the opportunities it offers, like going off to fly a kite. The Cape Town International Kite Festival celebrates the joy of harnessing nature to play games with gravity. So let's see what the most recent event sent up in the air. Reports came through of UFOs near the Falls Bay shore, and then dragons were spotted soaring over Basenberg. You won't hear this often from many people, but one of my favorite things about the wind in Cape Town is it's the perfect environment to go fly a kite. It is super colorful and happy here today, and it's all in the name of a good cause. It was a breezy, sunny summer's day, which made conditions perfect for the annual Cape Town International Kite Festival, hosted by Cape Mental Health. Hello Ingrid and welcome to Meta. What a fantastic initiative. What inspired Cape Mental Health to host a kite festival? We've done the kite festival and hosted it for the past 24 years. The funds raised at the kite festival really aids our work in under-resourced poorer communities where people with mental health challenges and difficulties have no access to private health care. Kites soar against the winds and the symbolism of kiting for us is very important because it allows families, children, youth, anyone in fact, to come out and enjoy the day. The Cape Town International Kite Festival is a wonderful day out for the whole family. And if you didn't bring a kite, like myself, you can buy one or even make one. I'm going to go check it out. India has a kite making heritage spanning centuries and it's still a popular pastime. Hi. <laughs> I know that in India you are known as the kite man. I have been doing kites since last few years. So I have been flying in my local town to introduce my culture. As a successful businessman and entrepreneur, where do you find the time to fly kites and to travel around the world doing this? It was a hobby in fact. Then a hobby turned into passion. So I make my time regularly uh, for my kites. So I plan my day like that. My weekends are for my kites. Kites can have the simplest of designs, but there's also a long tradition of complex types in the Indian Ocean region. Salams, Mr. Sambo. You are an award-winning master kite maker. I believe so, yeah. <laughs> Where does this beautiful swallow kite originate from? This kite comes here from Indonesia. The shape of the swallow kite has been coming in with a sleigh from that time already. That's how it originated in Cape Town. What inspired your love of kites and flying kites? It gives you a state of peace of mind if you see your kite fly there and you have achieved something that can fly. When I was little, my dad told me I could be anything I wanted to be, but I never considered being a professional kiter. The festival brings many kiters, both local and international, to Cape Town, and I'm fascinated to find out more about the profession. It takes considerable skill and know-how to build and fly some of the highly unconventional creations. Bobby, I've been watching you have the most fun all day. I know that you made your first kite when you were just five years old. That's correct, yeah. This is the model. It was my first kite made out of the insert of the A4 exercise book from school with three matchsticks. And we used to very slyly raid our mother's sewing box to collect thread to, to fly our kite. We were not well off when we were growing up and we always imagined one day that we will be able to make these beautiful kites and have the, the joy of flying. So we made some simulation kites and imagine this kite was that kite flying up there and we used to have a ball. And since that time, my passion for kiting increased. Cape Town offers some of the world's best kite flying conditions. So it's become a popular destination for the worldwide kiting fraternity. We got married a year ago and weren't able to take a honeymoon. So she made it very clear that if we were gonna go on a honeymoon, there could be no kites, unless we went to South Africa. I've been coming out here for the last four years, every year, and it's a great opportunity to uh, help the uh, less able people to fly our kites and to get them an understanding of the freedom that the kite gives us all. From parachutes to lizards and polar bears, these kites were aircraft in their own unique sense of the word, and the candy bomber was an instant hit when it showered the crowd with sweets. Whimsical, colorful, and truly inspiring. 
They show what's possible when imagination takes wing. 